Hey everyone, it's uh, Grady from Suboverland, and uh, in this video I'll be doing a quick little walk around of this H2 that I just bought. Uh, but it, let's get right into it. So this is an 04 H2 and uh, we'll be doing a bunch of work on it. It is, it's pretty rough. Uh, I got it for a very good price, but you know, it's, it has rust and uh, more issues than like our normal vehicle. So I might end up holding on to this thing. I don't know, but uh, it's, it's fun and it's really mechanically sound. So here it is. Uh, it has like 190K, I wanna say. And someone's put like a bunch of these light bars on. I mean, I'm not like opposed to light bar, but like these are just all junky and they're falling off. So I'm going to rip those off. Um, tires are just horrible. Um, not good. And then there's rust spots. You can see that nice, uh, someone's put like duct tape. There's rust on the body. Um, it's just, it's rusty. You know, it's just all over. And so I'm either just going to leave it and just drive the thing or think about repairing. But uh, roof rack, there's like this weird Hummer factory one on the front that I'll be removing. But uh, I don't know, a bunch of interior stuff. Looks like that's all jacked. But, uh, you know, it's pretty clean on the inside. It's not bad. Oops. Um... Yeah, just a bunch of little stuff to fix on this thing. It's got like this door panel is just just all trashed. Um, you know, rattles on the interior. This door, one of the pins is loose, so it needs to be. Anyway, just there's a bunch of little stuff. Um, drove great on the highway, uh, even though these tires are horrible um but it's smooth and so i'm really excited these things have a locker you know a electronic e-locker in the rear and uh, it's a 60 v8 with a 4l65 i believe on this year uh transmission uh it's a full-time all-wheel drive with a locking uh differential so it's kind of like similar to like a land cruiser so it's full-time and then you actually have you know the locking um transfer case and then uh when, when it locks in it's a 50 50 split when it's in all-wheel drive it's like a 40 60 and then it has the locker um in the rear differential so that was a really quick video just you know i want to do it before um because this thing's you know it's on 35s and i think i'm going to keep it with 35s but get some actual tires underneath this thing I'm really excited for this. I've always wanted an H2 for some reason, and so I uh, finally got one. I'll be changing the tires on this uh, H2 Hummer that we just got. Uh, we're gonna do 37s. So these uh, Hummers, this is a 04 uh, H2. They came stock with a 315 70 17. It's pretty much equivalent to a 35. Uh, most of the, depending on the tire brand, it'll be like 34 and a half to 35. And, uh, these, what I've been researching, and this is my first Hummer build, hopefully many more to come, but, uh, you can do 37s on stock suspension. So these are the Hankook, Hankook, however you want to pronounce that, uh, 37 by 12 and a half on a 17 so 37 by 12 and a half 17 this is the dyna pro xt i did some research on these and they seem really good they are snowflake rated and they were a really good price i thought quiet on the highway so i'm actually really excited to try these out i've never really done hand cooked stuff i've actually I haven't had bad experiences, but I, every 
suburban I buy that has hand cooks, I feel like they're kind of loud and maybe that's just because they weren't on top of, you know, they're cupped or whatever, but I think these are going to be great. And I just, you know, have had a bad experience, but as you can see, these are <laughs> very bald and, uh, we're in need. So I thought might as well try the 37s. Another reason for doing a 37s is very simple, but if you're going to be a bear, be a Kodiak. That's my dad used to tell me. So, you know, if you're going to go big, might as well go big. And so that's what, you know, the Hummer is a big rig. So let's put some big tires on this thing. So here's the first one. I have never mounted a 37 on this machine and it was fine. I don't know the specs of my machine, but it worked out. So uh, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Got it all balanced out. And now uh, we usually will paint our wheels. And so I'm gonna paint these and keep on going at the rest of them. So I found the first oddball thing on this. Uh, so the you guys might be wondering why an H2, why a Hummer? I'm into, you know, this thing with you know, like semi-stock suspension with, you know, like 37s, kind of like, you know, what I'm doing here. I've always thought they were a cool build and the drivetrain is exactly what I'm used to. So that's why I'm starting to get into these or I want to. Uh, they're almost identical to the Suburbans I work on. There's obvious differences, but it's got a 6.0, 4L65, uh, the axles are the same as a three-quarter ton truck, uh, you know, brakes. It's, it's just a lot, a lot of similarities. Uh, transfer case is a little different, and there's some differences, obviously, but these are just a lot more capable rig that I think are a good option for our clients. Uh, they all come with uh, lockers in the rear instead of a limited slip, um, like the suburb, like some of the Suburbans came with. And, you know, they get this about the same, a little bit worse fuel economy, but not that much. But, uh, you know, just a really good drivetrain. But I found a really kind of an oddball. So this is the air cleaner. And this is like 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks. So that was a little disappointing because, you know, regular Suburbans and all the other trucks, they're like 25 bucks. So a little bit more there. But it's not, you know, the end of the world. But I'm sure I'll be, I'll be running into a couple little things like that that cost a little bit more. But you're never going to get into, like, Toyota-type cost or anything like that. So like I mentioned before, a cool thing about this is it just, you know, uses a lot of, you know, all it is is a GM and uh, uses a lot of the same parts. So, like, these are the same spark plugs and wires for... Um, the Suburbans that I do and so it just really it's nice having you know that vehicle that, where it's you know adds that better off-road capability but with the same uh, you know parts and everything as what I'm used to I'm sure you've seen so the hood here so the hood goes forward just like you know the earlier Hummers the H1s and I want to find out if it's gonna be more convenient or not but I'm kind of liking it. Um, I can just hop up here and then I feel like it's going to be better. Uh, obviously radiator, you know, doing radiator and water pump might get in the way a little bit, but, uh, oh, this is a new water pump. Won't be doing that. So here I'm doing, uh, the tune up and just, a, yeah, plugs and wires. These are not original plugs, and the wires have been changed also. So someone put a Denso in there, which is it's a good plug. And then, uh, yeah, so they were easy to come off. Sometimes they are just, they're baked on because they're original plugs and wires, or they're original wires. And so, like, the boot would just, anyway, it sucks. But these were good. I was able, I always, so this is the end that goes in the spark plug. So I will grab on and I'll twist it. And then as you're pulling out, you kind of go back and forth. And I, and I can get these by hand. Uh, 
for I mean some of them the other ones I have to grab you know a big needle nose and get some uh, cantilever and break them off pretty much uh, but now I will grab uh, the shields well first I guess I will where's my here we go dielectric grease and I will put it inside all the the boots there and then slip over this so I'm all ready so I've got all those lined up so here's my new um, set all eight of them so I'll split them up and go you know four on each side and then uh, these are the plugs that we use uh, AC Delco 419962 these are uh, little platinums and they do really well I've never had one bad out of the box or anything and uh, same with the plug so I always use AC Delco stuff uh, not that like these wires weren't fine this thing ran great but I just it's worth the extra money and uh, this is a pretty common plug or this wire was it Belden or something I've seen these a bunch anyway and then here's a tip for doing uh, a 5.3 or 6.0 or 4.8 um, plug change or even you know the big blocks and stuff all the GM stuff so I take a uh, half inch so I take a, a half inch ratchet of your choice and then I this is just a you know 5 8 uh, spark plug um, socket and then this is a 3 8 to half inch adapter so it can go into the spark plug socket and that right there instead of using an extension this is actually in my mind the perfect size you can get um, the spark plug in the rear you know by the passenger and then I actually use this setup for all eight of them and it works out really well and you get the bigger throw with the half inch so here's the next uh, tip I'll say uh, this is the old spark plug wire and so you just snip it right there and this is the old boot obviously and you'll grab the new spark plug and put it in there and you'll um, you know hand tighten it uh, into the block and that's just a good trick because if you drop a spark plug you're done for you got you got to replace it anything with suspension yet but I am very happy with everything. These are stock wheels, and I'm um, there's no rubbing yet, uh, and I don't think there will be. Um, full lock and everything. So this is I'm really happy with how it turned out. There's a, still a ton to do on this thing, but uh, yeah. This is going to be a fun build. Very <laughs> 37s on a stock Hummer.